to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep what is up everyone jossie here i'm really excited about today's video i've been thinking of creative ways that i can integrate more desk setup content into my youtube channel because the issue is unless you have like a dedicated space where you can interchange setups which i don't currently have it's hard to make consistent desk setup content but in today's video we're going to be talking about how to make your desk setup more clean and aesthetic if you give this video a thumbs up i will greatly appreciate it also consider subscribing for more content like this Now, obviously, you want to make sure that you're cleaning your desk setup about once a week. I recommend getting a glass cleaner for your laptop screen and for your monitor screen. And I'll also recommend getting an all purpose cleaner so you can wipe down your counter space. If you go over to my Instagram highlights, I have a desk setup highlight and you can actually see how much my desk setup has evolved over the years. My favorite setup I think was that Ikea setup where I had the two Alex drawers and I think it was like an Ek Bakken, if that's how you pronounce it, countertop that was like 74 inches long and it, my desk setup was in a corner of the apartment so I had some nice shelving and pictures but now I have different needs since I'm working from home more and I wanted a standing desk so a lot of things have changed. There's a number of ways I've made my desk setup more clean, starting with having a white theme that's very simple and minimal. But after installing the cable management tray from Autonomous AI, I have to admit that this is the cleanest my desk setup has ever felt. I knew that my cable management was horrible. I just hid it from you all when I posted my pictures or shot video of my setup. Now I actually feel more free and relaxed and not chaotic when at my desk because now my web of cables are stored away in this nice cable tray. I feel really stupid because it took me like forever to actually get this cable tray and it was only $29. So I was basically lying to you all in my videos and my desk setup pictures. I was hiding the cables behind my Alex drawer in my previous setup. In this setup, I was hiding the web of cables behind my chair or just removing the cables altogether. So I definitely recommend getting some sort of cable tray to install underneath your countertop. So if you don't have a standing desk and you created your desk setup like I did in my previous Ikea setup, I recommend going on Amazon and purchasing a cable tray. They're really easy to install usually. In terms of making your space look quote unquote clean or minimal, my recommendation is to go with one monitor. There's two ways you can do this. You could either get a very high end, like smaller display, maybe like 27 inches or 24 inches, has really good color accuracy, is very vibrant. Make sure you look at those nits value. It's 4K or even 5K, because that'll make up for the lack of size that the display has, because it's so vibrant and colorful and accurate that you're able to easily see your screen. Another recommendation I have is to go with an ultra wide monitor. The dual display was a headache that I had. It was too clunky. My setup was minimal, at least from an Instagram standpoint or when I would post a video, but in terms of managing it, it was a pain. And having one monitor, you can use it as like a focal point, like a statement piece for your setup. You place it in the middle of your setup, have your speakers and plants or whatever accessories you have surrounding it, and it'll give you that clean and like minimal look. Also, when you have one monitor, it's easier to maintain. One less screen to clean, one less screen to keep up with. And you have way more monitor arms that you can choose from. The first accessory recommendation that I have, if you have a smaller desk or you wanna minimize the amount of items on your desk setup to keep it clean, is to invest in a laptop arm. So I'm using Fully's Jarvis laptop arm, and it's made a huge difference. It has significantly increased the amount of surface area that I have on my desktop. 
It's nice to have my laptop at eye level that helps out with your posture and your spine. Your neck will definitely thank you. I've noticed that ever since I installed the Jarvis laptop arm from Philly, I use my MacBook as an additional display significantly more than I did when it was on my desk. I think it's because since the laptop was on my desk, I just wanted it out of the way since it wasn't in a convenient spot relative to my point of view. Another thing that you can do to make your setup look more aesthetic and to elevate your desk setup experience is to add some sort of shelving system. If you do go with a clean setup like mine where you don't have any drawers, my recommendation is to add a shelving system on top of the counter space. Typically standing desks have more depth than some of those Ikea desks. So you actually will have enough space to add a shelving system or you can add floating shelves above your desk setup. Trust me, it looks really cool and it is clean. When you have like a white, clean, minimal theme, it can fall a little flat and be a little boring. So if you add some wooden shelves, it'll definitely elevate the experience. I recently was fortunate enough to be gifted a few really cool desk accessories that have elevated my desk setup aesthetic. One being the Grove made plywood walnut desk shelf, a desk tray and the Grove made wool felt desk pad. I feel like since my desk is white and without a shelving system or drawers in front of a white wall, it kind of fell flat after a while. The shelving system definitely adds organization to my setup with the combination of the desk tray from Grove Made, where I can store pins, batteries for my camera, my hard drive, and other accessories. So that concludes this how to keep your desk set up clean and aesthetic. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, set up warriors. If you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more content like this, consider subscribing and becoming a part of this amazing community of creators, technologists, engineers, all kind of really dope people, a part of this community. And as always have a wonderful, blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.